tonight, I'll bring you internal, uh, the benefit of uh, internal knowledge of the party. A NEC member who attended that meeting is the, uh, is the leader of uh, the youth in the North Central of the party. Uh, Tege Agine, uh, Teve Agine joins us from our Abuja studio. And here, I'll be bringing you uh, some legal and uh, an expert opinion a political strategist, uh, Mr. Curtis Adigba joins us here. Thank you so much, Mr. Adigba, for joining for us. Me. And uh, Mr. Agine, thank you so much for joining us tonight. So le let's take a look at what the president, let me be, perhaps begin with you, Mr. Adigba. The president, this solution, the caretaker committee, and this extraordinary convention committee, ultimately looks like it's supposed to organize a convention. Before you, is this a solution to the crisis? Well, it, it will have a momentary coming effect, but it's not going to be a solution to the problem. It's like a father walking into the house and all the children are shouting at themselves and he gives out a loud shout just to calm things down. And then he walks away without dealing with the problem itself. It's only a few moments later that the children will congregate again and they begin to shout at each other. What the National Executive Committee had done is like taking a hammer to the table and shattering, shattering the table into pieces. I say, you cannot go and sit down. The pieces can find their levels until we want to deal with the problem. But that's not the solution. The problem of the party is known to everyone. We, we are in election season right now for politicians, those who trade in power. They don't go to sleep. They're already pontificating and posturing for 2023. And so this, this could be the, the 2023 could be at the center of this. Oh, this is oh, no doubt about that. And they understand that those who control the party structure will dictate or determine who the candidates will be. And this is the problem. Look at the list you just read out. Is there anybody there that, that is not an interested party in the conflict that is going on? They are there representing one, one of the powerful forces. You understand? Or they, are, they themselves are dramatic personnel. And this is why we have problem. You shut out the larger population of party members. Political appointments go around the same set of people. Majority of the guys there are governors who are also interested party in the conflict. How do you solve the same problem by deploying those who started the problem? Let, let's ask Mr. Teve Ajine, uh, who attended that meeting as a NEC member of the APC. Uh, does the party NEC, as it acted according to the constitution of the party, first and foremost in resolving the NWC and setting up the Kiatika Committee? Uh, I'll share with thank you. I, I think uh, the decision taken today is a very, very proper uh, decision taken by uh, the NEC. Uh, reason as, uh, um, so long as uh, the, 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 the BOT, which was constituted but was not inaugurated, the NEC stands to resolve all other issues of the party, which that has been done today. It's a two-way uh, solution that has been uh, provided today. One, dissolving the, uh, the end of the UC, and the second thing is also setting up a caretaker committee. So the question is that does the NEC have the power to dissolve the end of the UC? L let me give a, uh, a, a premise to what I'm saying. Um, in the all of the constitution of the APC, Caretaker is only mentioned twice and is mentioned under the NWC. The constitution of your party gives the power only to the NWC to set up a caretaker committee. Just in 30 seconds before we go on our break, does the power of a caretaker committee and dissolution of the NWC lie in the N N N NEC? Yes. When in a situation where the NWC is fighting itself, in a situation where the NWC is fighting itself, then what do you expect? NEC as the highest organ of the party. 
Because you are I the lawyer the, the here. I think the decision taken Shame. today is Shame. constitutional. And okay, so they are here. Right. Look, this is an attempt to here to to airbrush a deep problem. Again, look, why do we prefer democracy to military regimes? It is because democracy is people focused. The political space is open for people to, you know, to participate in the process. Now, when you lock the party, you lock everything around people, you have a politics dominant minority that control everything you understand. You are bound to have crisis as they rob themselves in a bid to position for higher positions within the hierarchy of the political party and the government. The reality is very simple, all right? Governance is not about providing infrastructure, and I think we must get this very clearly. The military can also provide infrastructure. In fact, they can do it faster. The difference between democracy and military regimes are that there are so many differences. But the key is the fact that people get wider spectrum of people of the populace get to participate uh, in how uh, they are governed and how things are done on their behalf. Mr. Adigba, interestingly, you are a lawyer and you strategize for politicians in whatever way in and around the country. So we see what that means. We allow Mr. Te, uh, Aguile to also give, uh, give us a benefit of what happened and what went down. And also, it will be speaking to the constitution of the party, whether what was done today was legal or not. We dissect all of that when we come back from this break, everyone. Join us again. Welcome back, everyone. Let's get back to the conversation. Mr. Curtis Adiba is a lawyer and a political strategist. He's been talking to us and dissecting these issues for us as well as Mr. Tave Aguinde is a member of the All Progressives Congress National Executive Committee in our Buddha studio. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Aguinde. Let me come uh, quickly back to you, Mr. Aguinde, and let's look at the constitution of your party that guides the affairs of your party. First and foremost, because the issue of caretaker committee, it, does the power lie with NEC? If you can quickly answer that. Yes. But in, under the under the this portion, the 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 article art, article that uh, guides uh, the role of NEC, there is nothing like that. The only of government or party that is allowed to set up a caretaker committee is the NWC. Yeah, uh, uh, when you have when you have uh, the organ that is supposed to take care of uh, this conflict uh, uh, resolution within the party, and the organ itself is in crisis, what do you do? But, 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 you you but, look at you look at. Uh, Hello, you look at the, the highest organ of the party coming in. You look, first and foremost, the party, the constitution says uh, you must explore all internal, uh, um, you know, mechanism to, to, to resolve uh, uh, party issues before going, uh, you know, out of your way or even uh, seeking redress in a court of law. But in the situation we are a body within the party, so, within so the party, so that the, is supposed the, to, the question is you know, that what is the legal basis for setting up a caretaker committee? Because that power does not really... Yeah, the, the, I'm, I'm quoting the, your own constitution, your party constitution, to you, that that power does not lie in neck, according to your party constitution. Isn't that illegality? No, it's not. So, All right, look, let's allow the lawyer... It's, 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 it's look, not. having participated in the process that led to this decision... It's not likely to sit here and tell you it's not an illegality. But it will present a legal challenge as we go ahead. The caretaker committee thing is not known to the constitution of the party. Number two, there's also a provision in the constitution of the party that elected office holders cannot be members of the National Working Committee of the party. Let's, let's allow Mr. Aguinde to react to that one. What about that angle that el politically elected officials, public office holders, cannot be members of the National Working Committee. And we have two governors, sitting senators, and sitting members of House of Representatives. Is that an illegal illegality? Well, uh, 
the powers of uh, decisions, uh, you know, on the party, if you look at it, if you, if you want to really be fair to the party, is rested for now with the National Executive uh, Committee of the party. So whatever thing the National Executive Committee of the party have done today, it is just and right before any court of law. So again, uh, maybe I should bring to you uh, another thing is that I'm not a lawyer, but my little understanding of the law, Mr. Aguinde, is the fact that there is a subsisting order of court which the president says is going with. That is, the order of court that says that uh, Mr. Victor Giadom should be the acting national chairman of the party is, subsist is an order of court. And so, if the president is going with that order and he dissolves it, is that not an illegality? It's not even the president alone, the neck. The neck. It's the neck an appellate court that now sits on the, on the verdict of a court. If you have recognized the order of the court and you are going with a particular individual, okay? So how then do you then dissolve? Okay, Mr. Aguinde. So th that's the conflict. Mr. Aguinde, can, can you react to it? The reason why I brought the lawyer is so that we yes, can Yes, uh, uh, so uh, uh, initially, uh, 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 Mr. Shewun, initially I told you I said a party, a political party of a ruling class, a, a ruling party like APC, should have an internal mechanism. And this neck, as the highest organ of the party, sat and felt that it is time for it to come, you know, together today and resolve this issue within. So if Mr. President has made that pronouncement, then it is rightful for even Mr. Gadom, who, you know, has gotten the, he said the Mr. President has directed every member every sincere member of APC to go out there and withdraw all cases, okay. which so was accepted and adopted by NEC. That's the right step in the right direction. But again, the point must be made. The Constitution is very clear on deploying internal mechanism of the party to resolve conflicts. If there are those who are in breach of the established mechanism, there are sanctions also provided in the Constitution. Why don't you use the sanctions to whip them into line? Do you understand? Now, we allowed lumps that were growing in the open. We did nothing about it until they metastasized into cancer. You know, and then we are all suddenly waking up and trying to solve a problem that we could have nipped in the board. Are you saying that this might focus lead to a bigger problem? It's not that it's going to, it's already leading to a bigger problem. As we sit in the studio here, groups within the party are already planning to go to court to challenge what has happened today. Because at the end of the issue, members because are not, see, so they, they were not present today, and they said they are considering legal action. Mr. Aguinde, what was your reaction to that? That what? Some NWC members were absent, they, and we, are under, we understand that some members of the party who are agreed about the decision of today are already going to court to challenge the decision of next today. Yeah, Sh Shawn, I assure you that APC is one family. Uh, yes, agitations will come and, you know, angers will rise, but the truth of the matter is uh, I, we are going to handle these issues as a family. I assure you this. Nobody is going to court. Ms. Mr. Uh, uh, it, it, Adiba, your, your final words. It cannot bet with me on that. But I will tell you, look, I'll tell you what the problem is. And everything that we are doing is just palliative. It's not going to solve the problem until this political party that calls itself, I'm a member of that party. I carry the card of the party. That calls itself a progressive party begins to do things that are progressive democratically. You don't lock a system. Why is the infighting so intense? It is who controls the party structure that decides who gets the ticket. What kind of democracy allows people for somebody who jumps from another political party to our party a few days ago is the candidate of the party? And for another person who crossed over from our party to another party is the candidate. What kind of democracy promotes a system like that. This is the problem. And that is why the fight for who, over who controls right. this system is so intense right. and intractable. Right. And until we deal with that issue of allowing internal democracy, allowing the people, the owner of the political process to participate, and not some select few, 
This crisis will never end. I must sincerely thank you, uh, Mr. Curtis Adigwa, a lawyer and a political strategist. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Thanks for having me. And also, Mr. Teve Aginde is a member of the APC NEC. Thank you so much indeed for your thoughts tonight. Well, that's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm Sean Kimale. Bye-bye.